hello everybody you are welcome to today's video in today's video you are going to see exactly how the jump examination looks like and how you can go about with things in the examination hall are you ready let's go now the moment you input your details into the jam uh, uh, system whether the laptop or the desktop now this is what is going to happen you are not the one that will choose the subject yourself when you register for the jump the your jam registration number already has subject combinations i mean pertaining to the uh, registration you did now the first uh, subject that is going to display which is the general subject is english language as you can see now english language you are going to answer 60 questions on english all right now let us go through the interface you can see my name here i already did something and on top here you can see logout calculator bookmark report error dictionary ai tutor now you must understand that actually when you start the exam this ai tutor dictionary report error bookmark it will not be found you will not see it all right the reason why it is showing here is because this is just a preamble this is just like an example all right now we have english language we have crk we have government we have literature now that is the subject now the you are going to use your mouse to select any kind of subject that you want all right you can see example of mouse in on your screen all right now you must note that it uh varies all right uh mouth varies but when you see mouse you notice it's mouse all right now you go to the subject you want to do and you click on it you will left click on it you go to the subject you want to do next you right uh, i mean left click on it all right now let's assume we are all starting with english language now you can you should note this also submit this button submit note it now just may not be on top here it can be at the bottom here you can see my mouse or it can be here but it's going to be on your screen all right now another thing you should really be mindful of is this timer now i willingly not start recording from the moment this uh, tutorial should start you see it is one hour 36 minutes remaining with few seconds now it is one hour 35 seconds remaining please this is how the time will begin to burn till it's finished burning all right be mindful of the time you will only have two hours to answer all the questions on the subject 60 questions on english and all the three other subjects that you want to combine with the english language is 40 questions each now this question is based on life change with dr samuel johnson is also known, known as now if a if option a is your answer you click on a you can see there is now one green uh color here and with this place like a cream color in that number one now you can click on next you can see this next you can move your mouse there and click on next now it is in number two you can see here question two of 60. this question is based on life changer also if option d is your correct answer you will click on d on your keyboard all right good and if you don't want to use your keyboard for example let us go to the next question i click on next now if option b this time is my correct answer i can still use my mouse to click on option b or you see you click inside this box and it will choose any kind of answer that you want for you do you get what i'm trying to say now you must understand that for you to work more faster you may not always need to use your mouse you have buttons i mean keys keyboard keys that you can use all right and i am going to drop a video link under this uh, under the, this video description i made a video sometimes back on what each keys stand for so you can go ahead and watch the, uh, the video but for short if you click on a now it will be in question four if i click on p it will go back to question three can you see so p means previous n means next so any other bo uh, uh, keys that you need to know please make sure you watch that video i will put the link under the description of this video so that it can be easy for you to to see it all right now um if you want to submit also you click on s s not x you know there's difference between x and s so you click on s and not x to submit and if i click on submit you see do you really want to end this exam now it's going to ask you also it may not put this mm, no but it's going to ask you do you really want to submit the exam now so you can either click on no or yes now if i if it is a mistake that i click on s i can click on no do you see and my exam will continue 
all right so if you are done with english language or probably there's one question you don't know again you can just go to the next all right you can go to the next good you can still go to the next do you see now if i choose an option in, uh, in uh question five now maybe i choose b all right see these things i'm choosing i'm not saying they are correct answers so i'm just choosing answers randomly all right now you can see that i answered number five but i do not answer number four that is why you see that it does not put cream color on this number four do you understand now after that maybe you are done answering the english question from number one to number 60 you can come to the crk here and then you which prophet warned the people of Nehemiah about God's impending judgment? Of course, that's Jonah. Now, this is the correct answer now. Good. And if I go to question 5 now, alright, for example, the downfall of the northern kingdom of Israel was mainly due to what? Now, if it is the rejection of the Messianic law, of which it is not, but let us assume this is the correct answer. I click on D. You can see two three and four it does not put any color on it that is to tell me that i have not answered those questions now if i go to government all right whom is the current chairman of ECOWAS? if you know it you choose it all right go to literature also the question is based on wooden night if you know the correct answer you choose it do you understand and also for people that are in the sciences that are doing calculation work all right now the, this is calculator you are going to see calculator on the top of your screen now i will click on the calculator now i made a video last week that you should start practicing without calculators right now you can move your calculator if you are allowed there all right but i can move it here now i can simply say two plus two equals what four do you understand that's why i said you can you yourself you can see this uh, calculator you can see that it, uh, it does not have much settings on it can you see it doesn't have much settings just uh multiplication table uh division table uh, i mean uh subscription subtraction sign um uh, addition sign and equals to and then we have the root uh, square root sign all right so those are the basic things that you have on the calculator those are the basic things all right so please start practicing without calculator so that you will not go and disappoint yourself all right so i think with this if you now want to submit your work finally all right and i would advise that by five minutes that your time is counting down maybe your time only remains five minutes i would suggest that you click on submit but if you have the mind that you can still hold on a little bit the moment you see that your time is now two minutes click on submit you can either bring your mouse here to click submit or use s all right so if i click yes it's not going to display your answer actually it's not going to display your answer but because this is just a practice uh software that is why it displayed my answer for me so probably after two weeks of your exam you will text uh, 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 a code to jump uh, number and then you will have your result okay do you get it now so my score is two over what <laughs> over 400 that's wonderful all right so you know this is just um, a preamble so i hope that with this tutorial you have been able to get one or two on how to go about with the jump examination all right so thank you everybody if you want to get this software you can let me know you can comment down below and then i'm going to send it to you thank you everybody and god bless you